Now students we have the next question that is question number 19. In this question students it is said the turmeric solution will turn red by an aqueous solution of. Turmeric solution is the solution of turmeric in water and we should know that this turmeric solution will always be turned red in the presence of basic solution. So, we will check that in our options, which substance is the basic solution. Banata hai. The option that we have here is potassium acetate, further we have copper sulphate, sodium sulphate and ferric chloride. Students, let us consider the first option, potassium acetate. When we make the aqua solution of potassium acetate, it get dissociated and it will form potassium hydroxide and acetic acid inside the solution because it is the salt of acetic acid and potassium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide is a strong base while acetic acid is a weak acid. Jab humare paas strong base or weak acid ka salt hai, iska matlab solution humara basic hoga. It means in this case only the basic solution is there. What about the other options? We have copper sulphate. Copper sulphate salt hai, copper hydroxide or sulfuric acid ka. Sulfuric acid, strong acid hai. In that case, we have the acidic solution, further we have sodium sulphate, ye hamara salt is sodium hydroxide and sulfuric acid ka, sulfuric acid strong acid hai, sodium hydroxide strong base hai. So, definitely we will have the neutral solution, this is not the correct option, further we have ferric chloride, this is the salt of ferric hydroxide, that is a weak base comparatively and hydrochloric acid, strong acid. It means the solution in this case is acidic in nature. So, the correct answer for this particular question is option 1 because it is forming the basic solution in aqueous solution. So, we can even mark here the correct answer that is option 1. So, let us write here this is option 1 as the answer. Now, let us move towards the next question and what is that question? That question number is question number 20. That question number 20 we have on the board. Let us have a look on that. A metal M of moderate reactivity is present as its sulphide and that sulphide is X. On heating in air that sulphide X converts into its oxide Y and the gas evolve. Students we have sulphide here and if it is heated definitely the gas sulphur dioxide is released. Again it is said that on heating Y and X together the metal M is produced x and y respectively are. In the first line it is written here that it is the metal of moderate reactivity. It means it is not the highly reactive metal. Let us consider the given options. The first option has cuprous sulphide and cuprous oxide. It means the possibility for the metal is this metal is copper. Further we have x is cupric sulphide and this y is cupric oxide. It can also be the answer, but if we are talking about option 3 and option 4, here you can see both places, X sodium sulphide hai and Y sodium oxide. Hai. Hame pata hai sodium is highly reactive metal. So, this cannot be the option because metal should be moderately reactive. Iske baad paas option 4, hai, jahan pe X is calcium sulphide and Y is calcium oxide. Yani metal calcium is highly reactive, so this option bhi nahi ho sakta. In this case, we have the two options and we have cuprous sulphide and cuprous oxide. Further we have cupric sulphide and cupric oxide. We have to just consider again a metal M of moderate reactivity is present as its sulphide. It means we are talking about the natural presence of this metal copper. It is present in the form of cuprous sulphide. So, simply if it is present in the form of cuprous sulphide there would be the more probability for this option cuprous sulphide and when we heat it we will get cuprous oxide. So, the correct answer would be option number 1. Now, when cuprous sulphide reacts with cuprous oxide, what will happen? The metal M is obtained again and it means the option that is correct for this question is option 1. So, we can even mark here the question 20th has the correct option, option number 1. So, we can mark here the option number 1 as the correct option. I hope students these questions are clear to you. Now let us move towards the next question and that is the question number 21. 